A quartet of owls from Take That. Uh, he's back tonight, though, and this time he's here as a solo artist with a brand new album. What a pleasure it is to welcome back Mark Owen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> They're good. They're a very, very good band. Well, I've been, I've been, I've been looking for my band yes. backstage because they've gone missing. Uh, they, no, I, you can't have them. No, no, no. no they're mine. Well, I own well, them. Well, my band have just been hanging outside a Sheik's dressing room. Yeah, looking just for a quick hello. <laughs> uh, it's really embarrassing. I keep going, has anybody seen my band? And I see them all outside the dressing yeah, room yeah. pretending to text. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, look, there's Sheik. There's Niall. Yeah, <laughs> hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he's, he's quite the figure oh, in music, is, as, yeah. you've done, as you know, Absolutely. down through the years. It's amazing, isn't it? It's good to have you back. Uh, it's nice and, to be back. And uh, you're back this time without the lads. Uh, yeah. So, is well, it? I, I like that it's like, I should have bought a little... A few more, yes. Teddy like, bears. I like the we could have come. It's like the hearing spirit. Yeah, in the spirit. Oh. But you're on your yeah. own now as a solo artist, for, for now anyway. And, and do you find that peculiar, having spent so much time with the boys recently, that you're back on your own? Or are you okay with that? A bit weird. I'm getting more into it. Are you? About two months ago, because I I'd kind of, since we finished the Progress Tour, we were yeah. here in 2011. That's right, did, yeah. Uh, two nights at Colt Park, which were incredible nights. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but since we finished that tour, I then went home for a bit and we had another baby, me and my lady. Congratulations. Yeah, and, um, and I didn't kind of do much for a couple of years, just writing songs, really. Yeah. So when I first kind of came out and started doing this after... A couple of years, it felt a little bit strange, yeah. you know. Uh, but I'm getting a bit it's more strange. into it now. Because I was talking to I, when I put the hat on. Did yeah. you? It's, it's like you put the hat on. You go, okay, I'm ready. I was rock and roll again. Yeah. It's like a uniform, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. I was noticing we have some of the haircuts. Oh, you and me? Yeah. Yeah, but in fairness, you're Mark Owen. I'm Tuberty. <laughs> no, but we do though, don't we? <laughs> You know, so it's, that's about as, that's where the comparisons end, Mark. <laughs> uh, but I was talking to Nicky Byrne, who was of Westlife, I'm sure you've yes. met him down through the years, and he's out of that band now, and he's kind of finding his feet in different areas, but he's, he had just come from the school run. And are you doing the school run, going to the oh, game, yes. drop of the kids, are you yes. doing that sort of thing? How many children has he got, Nicky? He's got two with yeah. one on the way. Right, oh, oh really, he's got yeah. a third on yeah, the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should yeah, talk to him yourself, run. I feel well, like that's, that's it, that's the, yeah, we, we could, we could yeah. chat over coffee. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's funny because yeah, you do the school run yeah. uh, in the mornings and then go and get your... I, 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 once I know they're all dropped off, everybody's happy, you can go and have, treat yourself to a little cappuccino. Yeah. And maybe a croissant. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> if you're really lucky. Serious glamour now, Mark. Glamour, yeah, serious it's, it's, glamour. You're moving in the circles. But I've always got the dog. Uh, we have a, a bulldog called Betty. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, my little girl, she goes, Betty, Betty, because she's just learning, it's the first words, is We're the names the of dog. our dog. Yeah. Yeah. Not Betty, mom, not dad. Not mom, not it's dog. bulldog. Betty. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I take, Betty hates going for walks. So the, in the morning, I've got Elwood on his bike, shooting off that way. Yeah. And I've got Willow kind of wanting to be carried. My legs are tired. Yeah. And then I've got Betty with the brakes on, with the bulldog. I mean, yeah. the picture in the morning, like, oh, we'll back, you know, dragging the dog along. But it, it's Who's great. that strange man with the hat? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't wear the hat on the No, 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 of course no, you don't. No. Uh, the Art of Doing Nothing is the album. Uh, so where, where did that come from? Where did that come about? Yeah. Um, well, I think when we finished with Rob coming back in 2011 and yeah. doing that whole thing with us, there was, in a way, there was, a, like, a lot of my life was open one day we'd do something all together again. Mm. Um, or my adult life anyway, I was always hoping I hope one day Rob will come back and do something. And so yeah. once he'd done that and we finished that tour, I was a bit like, whoa, well, th there is a space. It was like, okay, you can. I didn't really know what, what we'd be doing next yeah. and what to do next. And I found myself sat at the bottom of the garden. Um, I have a studio down there called the Rabbit Hutch. I have this little circle bench as well. So I sent out a few texts saying, now if anybody's interested, I'm sat at the bottom of my garden, if anybody, you know. And eventually people started to come down. Um, who are you inviting? Well, just mates, really. Oh, pals, okay. Yeah, yeah pals, yeah. really. But, but people who are kind of, um, two of my friends, Jamie and Ben, who wrote the record with yeah. us, they're here. Yeah. Um, outside sheep. Uh, outside, yeah, they're stalking yeah, sheep, yeah. yeah. You could be doing this yeah, act on your own with your guitar, I might by be the doing way. it on my own. <laughs> Um, and so, and, so they and gathered various, But the whole idea was to get a load of creative people involved around this little circular bench. Yeah. 
don't know why, but that, that was almost a nothing. Um, loads of people involved, so artists, producers, and just try and make something from nothing. Yeah. Um, which so is how it all came about. Which is how it, all, is came how it all kind of came about. And yeah. when you're in the, the rabbit hutch, your shed, yes. and you've got uh, two kids and a little baby uh, floating around, do they, are they knocking on the window going, can we come in now? Or are, you, are they told this is forbidden territory? No, no, they do, they do come in. Okay. Yeah, they, 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 after school they come back in and, and um, usually what they like to do uh, is find, I, I like have a, I allow myself another treat after my croissant and my cappuccino. Yeah. On the way home, I usually buy a bar of chocolate. Okay. I think, oh, I'll have that later. Because the chocolate has replaced the cigarettes. Yes, You've given up the smokes. So I've, got my, I've got my chocolate bar for about three or four o'clock. Right, you that. devil. Yeah, but um, the, uh, the, the game is trying, trying to find dad's chocolate bar. So they come, usually come down to the studio about four o'clock. And they know see if it's they can chocolate find time. Where, where Dad has hidden it and then run around the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, the circle bench, I don't know if I had to, uh, told, uh, that used to be a pond. Oh, right. A little okay. pond at the bottom of our garden. I don't know why I'm telling you this. That's all right. I'm, I'm happy I'm to here. talk about your pond. I'm here. You're here, we're here. Get, it's I a don't, chat show. I don't, chat away. I don't get a chance to talk much. That's okay. Um, I'm all ears. <laughs> but we, had, we got rid of the pond, uh, but the frogs keep coming back every year oh no yeah. just to have his dinner because no so the frogs turn up wanting to go in the pond so me and, and elwood also we have a, a, usually around april march april time we collect the frogs because they all come and start mating at the bottom of the garden great which is nice and we have a little like a little bucket and we put them all in there yeah and then like once a week we'll transfer them <laughs> to the big pond okay but it seems like more coming i think they think right. it's some like holiday excursion <laughs> The frogs, because more and more keep coming every year. Yeah. You could recreate Paul McCartney's cartoon video from the frog chorus uh, with real that's frogs. Maybe, maybe it's boom, a sign. Boom, boom, You know. Maybe it's a sign. Thing. Maybe that's what the. That's what, that's what the, the message is. Yeah. Have you played the uh, other boys in Take That, your album? Would you, would you give them uh -huh. a preview? And how did that go down? Uh, it went down well. Would they... I, I tell you, the funny thing is because um, I, we didn't get a hard copy, so I, you stream them now. So yeah. you can send them a version of the album. Email or whatever, yeah. Yeah, but it, I, from my label, they streamed them, and I got a couple of complaints because it, it, like, they could listen to it for two days. All right, okay. And then it got and off then it's and gone. And so then it disappears. So you've got to buy it now. What did Gary Barlow, X Factor judge, say about it? <coughs> um, style icon, X Factor judge, Barry, uh, Gary Barlow, or Barry Garlow. I have a sti oh, style icon. Is it, Sti is yeah, it, is it crossed is. over to here as well? How did that happen? How did that happen? Because you knew I, him. I was like, uh, I, was, I was moving the frogs, the bottom of the garden, writing a record. As you do. As you do. I come out, and then all of a sudden Gary Barlow's like, <laughs> like, how did that happen? All it took was the length of time to move a box of frogs. A box of frogs. In that time, he'd, he'd, he'd done it. I don't so know what how he did that. Because how, how was he perceived well, fashion-wise well, in the band? he's never, never really been that interested at all. Like, and trying to get him, he always goes, oh, Mark, you, you sort me out. Tell, you know, tell me what to wear. Or, I'm not bothered, you know. He likes, he likes his comforts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know what's... I'm really, like, surprised he came around to... At my house like the other day and I thought oh guys he's coming around that'd be nice and when he turned up I was like oh my word yeah I felt like a bit underdressed yeah 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 I did <laughs> so it's all changed it's all changed changed utterly can I ask you about the you just mentioned Croke Park there which yeah. was about 80,000 people one night the next night another 80,000 and then you're solo artist and I know you play say for example if you uh, cheeky, if you, I don't know what the right word is, but uh, little preview gigs. What's the word for you? Um, uh, for, for yeah, the, like previews. Uh, I think they, they, I've read the call and I'm like um, secret gigs. Secret they did gigs. a couple of little acoustic gigs. Okay, so that'd be too, quite a small number of people. Yeah, about 15, 50, 20, 30, 40 Gee, people. That's an enormous, enormous shift yeah. of, of a mindset, to say yeah. the least. So, so how do you adjust? Um, well, it was, it's been really helpful for me because, again, it's just, for me, I'm going back here in June doing some shows, but it yeah. just kind of gets you back into the, the kind of mould of, of what you're about yeah. to do, you know. So it was really great. It was, there was about, we did, yeah, we did one in Manchester and one in London, and there was about 40 people at the one. Were your parents that was, at them? That was sold out, the one in Manchester. It was about 40 people. 40, so that was it. Was, yeah. that, was that a phone box? Yeah. Was that <laughs> you, you, do you know the way, you can tell if people aren't listening or aren't enjoying it when there's 40 people. Yeah, you I can, can imagine. Go, mm, she's not really. You could probably read. She's thinking when are you going to 